Yo, yo, how is it going there, folks? Welcome, your faces, back to the wonderful world that is Etheria. How are you all doing today? Now, I've been getting quite a lot of you questions in regards to what it is that I have defense-wise and stuff, so I'm going to try and make this as quick as I can for you all. So the current meta build that we have kicking off right now, close traps, proton beam, poison, one earth, one boost aura, one flame aura. If you have cyborgs, you put in a reflect beam. It's up to you what you do, how you do it. You know, this is pretty much the majority of the build right now. If you have to deal with frosty lanes, uh, uh, depending on what it is that you have, you know, you would you would kind of tweak and change it to uh, your own uh, particular needs. Um, so this is the current meta right now. Is pretty much uh, just this particular setup here. Again, it's like we'll, we'll, I'll just leave this here for you all, so that you can kind of take a brief. Brief uh, little moment to kind of see it for yourself. Explosive traps, earth, poison proton, earth proton, got the boost order to make everything nice and powerful. Flame aura to obviously deal as much damage in a nice wide area. Um, you know, they're going to be taking damage from up here instead of like over here. Um, when they get to here, they pretty much just, should just die while they're standing here. Anything that makes it past here, you would like for them to die right here within this boot. This, this, this kind of spot right here. This is your have to die between here and here kind of kind of dealio. You know, if they ain't dead between here and here, then you've got a problem because then they're just going to keep they're going to going to go to where they need to go to and start pummeling on the uh, eternity your crystals. If you if you, if you so. okay. So anyway, so proton beam, tenacity, poison, defense rate, destructive pylon, defense rate, frosty beams. We have Frosty Beams, Vampiric Empowerment, Defense Rate, Earth, Tenacity, Defense Rate. Uh, the combination of these two right now is one of the strongest CC CCs for the crowd control that you have in the game right now. It's the cheapest as well. Um, it sucks that you do have to have two separate EVs for this particular build. Uh, but remember to keep in mind for those that are that are more newer to the um, to the game that you actually do have a self-proccing Petrify with a poison PDT and then a earth shatter as well, you know, so you have that there. You do have a self proccing petrification that you can use. You just have to keep in mind that this is single target, you know, whereas the poison is going to spread to three separate um, entities, mobs, uh, enemies, gobus, however you would like to call it, you know, so you know, maybe even adding in a second one would maybe even be beneficial for you, but. Um, there's, there's, I would like to say that there is better ways that you could do it, but you will end up reaching a particular barrier, uh, you know, if you are doing onslaught and stuff, so, you know, this will only kind of get you so far. Um, it just depends on your own IQ, I guess, and your own experience with the, um, <laughs> I was going to say IQ is not the right word in there uh, for it. Um, so boost aura, diverse power, diverse crit, crit damage, boosted power, destruction, defense critical. For me, um, I just wanted to have that crit damage, 104. I wanted to have it over that 100%. You know, if I take this, if I take this out here, it's going to drop it down to 98. You know, why couldn't it just be at 100? I would have to actually place down another defense in order to get this here, but then that's 210. You know, for this lane, can you effectively put 210 in all lanes? No, 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 no. You can't do that. You know, it just can't be done. You know, I'm, I'm already kind of technically pushing over a certain boundary, which is 180 DU per lane, technically cutting into flyer lanes. So, um, but yeah, you know, like getting getting that defensive crit damage uh, up here uh, to make, you know, 104%, 104, 104. So my damage dealing defenses are doing is, uh, uh, they're, they're at 100% for crit damage. That's perfect. That's double damage. Effectively, you know, more critties, more critties for the win. Yes, yes, yes. Flame aura. I have options for flame auras, but anti melee controller defense rate would be ideal for the majority of people. But this anti melee anti arc defense rate is actually really good. It's really, really good. Um, I was not actually running encroaching flames with this build for the longest time. It's only now that I'm actually pushing into the 900s that I've actually swapped over um, 
from a defensive rate. It was a defense rate that was in here. Uh, but I've taken that out now and I've got Encroaching Flames within this particular build. When it comes down to Frosty Lanes, I do not use this Flame Aura. What I actually use is this Flame Aura right here. This is where my other mass destruction is. Well, this is one of them, sorry. I haven't covered the traps right yet. Anti-Frost, Anti-Melee Defense Rate, Mass Destruction, Deadly Strikes, Defense Rate. These are the ones that I would use inside a Frosty Lane. Is this. Uh, depending on if they're cyborgs or not, you know, you'll tweak and adjust, you know, however it is that you see fit. I usually use two Flame Auras when it comes to a Frosty Lane as well. It's never just one. It's always two of them. In some cases, depending on how strong your Flame Auras are, you might want to use three and maybe even potentially four of them. Three, four Flame Auras will do a lot more DPS than other certain types of defences. Flame Auras are just good in general. They're just, they're just really, really good. My other mass destruction is this in, in, within this anti-melee controller defense rate. We have fire for effect, destruction, and mass destruction. There as well. It's all about the damage, pretty much. And whenever, wherever it is that you can use this defense, use this defense. It's it's so strong. Like, it's so, so strong. Now, I have more options. I have Tenacity 1. You know, I have other types of Flame Auras here. Melee Range Chaos. I've got a Tenacity Flame Aura. I've got Fishers as well. At the same time, Anti-Frost, Anti-Ranged Defense Rate. Um, it's, I, I put this Anti-Ranged... Instead of me using this on a Flame Aura, I put this on a Fisher because then obviously, instead of me trying to clamber in a whole bunch of Flame Auras close to one another, like, I have to, you know, I have to remove this. You know, I have to like find a find the spot. You know, and you know, like I, I don't need to do that. You know, if I'm going to use this anti ranged one, it means I could slam this basically right next to the flame aura. You know, and, and be happy. You know, with it. You know, it's going to have the same coverage as a flame aura. As you could see, like they're going to be getting hot from both of these, all the way through. You know, depending on how it is that you would like to do it. Uh, let's see, what else can I try? I'm trying to be as quick as I possibly can here. Um, so that's pretty much the defense. The, like, this is the, 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 the meta as it currently stands right now. Um, and as we're talking about this, uh, I'm pretty sure that I have these uh, kicking about right now. Um, we have to give a big, big massive shout out to RA Rexo. Um, for their lovely little uh, displays here. Um, it has a whole explanation and guide explaining the um, the trap meta, how to build for particular lanes, um, cyborg setups in here. You know, this previous one was a headstrong lane. We also have this one here, explosive trap setup. You know, there's a whole bunch of shard options. You know, there's mod options, stuff and things, things and stuffs. Um, um, if you're looking to have this information and screenshots and stuff, you know the, the Chromatic Games Discord. They'll it'll probably they'll probably have some stuffs in there. Uh, if not, uh, my Discord server is in the description. Uh, the useful links info will be uh, there as well. You know the text channel which you can click and you could find uh, this this uh, these these screenshot things that I'm kind of like popping up for for y'all right now. You know you can you can check all that that stuff up. That stuff and things right there in the useful info section you know if you're trying to get more of an understanding and overview uh, of the of the traps and stuffs and how it kind of works and that um i mean like from floor what for 420 or something up to i dare say like 700s ish or, or something along those lines i was actually using a full tenacity build uh, when I was rocking, like, uh, if I remember right, uh, the full tenacity. What was the what was the tenacity build that I was using again? I think it was pretty much something along the lines of of uh, this was what I was doing. Try to just grab the appropriate ones here. It was more along the lines of this was what I was doing was what I was doing. This is what I was doing for mine. So I have tenacity obviously here on the explosive traps. Um, I have tenacity on these flame auras. I actually have automation here on this uh, buff beam right now. 
you see this little blue line that you see sticking out here that's automation right there that we have um on on this buff beam here automation that's what's giving it this um it's it's the little line thing that you see that's just you know when you've got automation within a defense pretty much you'll see that we've got boosted beam destruction and i've got automation here you know it's up to you how you would set this up you know if you don't need to use automation for it then you don't you just don't have to so most people might, won't have the second automation to put that in there you know so they won't be able to do this you know but uh, you know obviously for me like i've got two of them you know so i, I already have mine in my reflect beam as you can see like there's that blue there's that blue line right there for you like you could tell when automation's in a defense so if you jump into a match and someone's like wait it's like my automation's down like why is it not working you could you could tell instantly to be like no it's not mate like you've used the wrong ev it's like there's no blue line sticking out of it you'll be able to know where people's automations are just by seeing this little blue line it's a nice little nice little it's handy you know sometimes people just forget and uh you know when they're when they're building their, def their defenses really you know to um you know to put maybe even just to, to just using the wrong ev in general <laughs> just the wrong ev in general uh, well hopefully i've covered i've covered that for y'all um as best as i can um if there's any other questions or that you know feel free leave it in the comment section down below thanks very much for watching i do hope you have a wonderful morning after an evening night take care and i will catch us all later in the wonderful world that is etheria boop 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 later 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 hey, hey oh Oh, hey, hey, hey.